Okay, Jim, two DBA head mics. Two DBA Mine, head mics. Yours. Beige, yours, not beige. Yes. There is a difference, and it's beyond just the colour. For your headset microphone is an omnidirectional unit, whereas mine is a directional model. Okay. We're, we're more accustomed to an omnidirectional head microphone, aren't we? Yeah, traditionally. The, the directional thing is, um, is a bit of a, a move away. And I guess before we sort of even get onto that, we've, we've got to address that what we're actually looking at, the design of these microphones in itself, is is quite different. This is just sort of hooked over and it curls around your ear. There is actually a dual a dual sided headband option available. Yeah. Um and there's there's lots of little little thoughts and like little touches like there's this little uh tiny clear plastic buffer thing or little bumper uh -huh. that sits on the boom and the idea of that is it's called a sweat stopper. So, yeah. so the sweat performers on stage it yeah, it, it drips pipe. off that <laughs> rather than into the actual microphone capsule, which is good because it means the mic capsule keeps working. And other things that they do to make the mic capsule keep working are like this, for instance, is a little makeup cover. So that you mic up your performers, so the makeup they, cover goes makeup, on over the actual head. Makeup, it's just a protective yeah. thing. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's then bright you just red it so that you can see it, so you don't go out on stage with this red knob. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then you know, there's little little wind socks and stuff, and it's. Another point that they've, they've done here is that they've made a new case. Like, you might remember these as DPA cases. These were fine, but this is a lot better. These these zip open and shut, and they're nice and tough. And you know, well, they've figured out a good way to mount the mic in there. More critically, more critically, how's it sound? The directionality is the big deal for increased gain. Um, and decrease noise in the environment. Yeah, yeah. Look, where these are going to work really well is on things like host sets where there is a lot of ambient noise going on. Theatre, um, we've noticed, you know, over the last five years, certainly a lot of engine noise in the roof from those things the light he's put up there. Those things. Going from, from, from. Were. Um, indeed, one of the Australian variety shows took a whole three or four weeks of shows to finally figure out that there was a lot of intrusive lighting noise mm. going into the host mic, um, that would help. This would have helped. Um, the idea <coughs> is that we're, we're pointing the pickup of the microphone toward where the sound is where happening. So is. in my case, the microphone is pointed towards my mouth. Why, why on oh, earth did they ever make them from? Omni in the beginning? That's a good question. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's hard to get directionality in a capture like this. Maybe it's because the, you know, the positioning of it was sometimes in the hair or... Yeah, I mean, look, for a long time we've, we've been using little things like like stick-on mics and, you know, you see in theatre a lot of the time a microphone stuck on a person's forehead mm. and, and I think that's really distracting and it looks strange and unnatural, Well, sometimes it's hidden but well, but it yeah, could be pointing out well. there. Yeah. That's why it's omni, I guess. Yeah. Um, but look, this the, the directional thing, we, we've played around with it a fair bit in here. There's, there's actually quite a good illustration on the DPA website. That would be a good so illustration um, in this very telecast. Yes, yes. Because um, we've got our air conditioner running, as we do, because it's summer in Sydney. It's, uh, it's not summer in Sydney, it's the one warm day of it, It's, it's three, three days after summer ended yeah. or something like that. Um, so you'll hear it now. Yeah, just, just shh. See, you heard mine. Okay, so... And then you heard his. So what we'll do here is I'm going to talk singularly. I'm going to, in post-production, mute Julius's microphone right now. Shut up. I'm going to mute Julius's microphone. So what you're hearing is me talking at a fairly normal level. And now I'm going to mute my microphone. And my fist, I'm going to mute him while I speak. So I'm talking now. He's muted. And you can hopefully, notionally, um, discern difference. Yeah. What you should be noticing is that you're getting more background noise in relation to Julius's speech. Um, some people would say that's a favourable thing where you're concerned. But for those uh, for those occasions... For those at home, what does this sound like? <laughs> for those occasions where signal-to-noise ratio is important, um, this is, this is going to work for people. DPA defined. 